Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Sarah. I'm Selena. And we're incoming first year university students and IB graduates in Toronto, Ontario. So this past year we applied to six programs at five universities. So the programs that we applied to are UFT for Rotman Commerce and the Scarborough Business with Co-op, DeGroot at McMaster for the IVH program, BMOS at Western with IVAEO, Smith at Queen's University and Schulich at York. So these are just our personal reasons for choosing the universities that we did and for not choosing the ones that we didn't choose, um, but they're probably far from the truth, so just take them with a grain of salt. And basically we applied to a bunch of our universities in Ontario because we weren't planning on leaving the province. Um, and our opinions are kind of similar but kind of different, so this video is basically just us going through why we rejected some of the schools and why we chose the school that we eventually did. Again, some of you probably know which school we're going to based on our other videos, but stay tuned for the ending and for a surprise. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because as you can tell, our university signs are not printer quality. We ended up drawing them in because we don't have a color printer and it's a pandemic and to be honest, we don't want to go to get them printed. <laughs> um, but again, we will be making videos on our application process, the essays that we wrote to get in, and the vi videos on what we did in high school, so stay tuned for those. And some of them are already up on our channel, so be sure to check those out. Without further ado, let's get started. So at UFT, we applied to two programs, the business and co-op program, as well as ramen. So for business and co-op, that was entirely a backup because in grade 12, we were paranoid that we wouldn't be able to get into university at all. So we're like, let's just put that as a backup. So that was just a no. And then for Rotman, the only reason why I would have wanted to go there is because of its location, because it's located in Toronto and there's a lot of job opportunities. So that was a no. And then for Schulich, that was entirely a no-no for me. Um, this was the first offer that I got and I was overwhelmed at the time because, again, it was the first one and it was also a competitive business program, but given the environment and the neighborhood, it just didn't really vibe with me, so that was a no. And so now it comes down to these three schools. So for McMaster, we... Uh, chose the IBH program at DeGroote and at the time we didn't do that much research and the only reason why we chose it is because as we were going on OUAC we were like let's find one more program and then we found out that McMaster also had a pretty competitive business program so we just chose IBH and that was that was it um so that that was a no um so now it comes down to these Queens and Western which was um, one of my top, both my, both were my top choices, um, and obviously I didn't get into West, I got into Western with BMOS, but not Ivy, so that was a no. Um, and that just leaves me with Queens. So for Queens, I when I received my offer, I was overwhelmed because and excited, because I didn't even think I was going to get in at all. So in grade 12, I really, like, like, Ivy was my goal, because I didn't consider Queens at all, thinking I wouldn't get in. But when I did, um, I started to consider it more, and I started to do more research on special things that the program has, as well as I talked with current students there. And one of the reasons why I'm choosing Queens over some other schools is because of its community. Because alongside 500 other students, they're all, we're all like-minded and all interested into business as well as also the prestige and competitiveness of the program. So it, it does have a 6% acceptance rate, so that was definitely a convincing factor for me. And also, in third year, there's the International Exchange Program, where you get to go to another country to study there, so that was um, a highlight. So they gave a around a 30k scholarship, so that was definitely convincing for me. But yeah, I'm going to be going to Queen's next year for the Commerce Program. Okay, so for me, um, so again with UFT, I also, like the Scarborough um, BBA with co-op option was also just a backup, so not going to consider that. Um, but for Rotman Commerce, um, it wasn't really that the program I didn't want to go to, it was mostly the school itself. So I, my general impression of UFT wasn't that good. Um, and I heard, heard there were a lot of students, you know, struggling with mental health and stuff like that, so didn't want to do that, so nope. Um, and then... For York, for the Schulich program, that was just purely really a backup because we had other schools in mind for the higher choices, so nope. <laughs> um, for McMaster, this was just like a random, again, OUAC decision. We just wanted to apply to another school just in case as a backup again, so nope. <laughs> that just leads me down to two choices, so Western or Queens. Um, this one was a pretty hard decision, so Western, I got my IV offer in March. 
and for Queen's Calm Mousse. I got my outfit in May, so it, there was a really long time in between of like just deciding which one I wanted to go to and deciding if I wanted to wait for the other one or just accept one offer before the other. Uh, so primarily with Queens, um, I didn't really know about this school until much later, really like a year ago when we were applying, when, um, but in general, I think the largest like differentiating factor between the two is that I always wanted to go to Ivy, um, at least since I was like end of grade 10 when I set my goal as Ivy and I wanted to do everything I could to get in there. Uh, my dad and my parents also knew about Ivy first, so that's kind of what they introduced to me first. So I think I also had a bias probably towards that. Um, but again, I, I think I waited so long to make a decision because Western's Ivy program is a second entry program, meaning that I have you can do like anything you want in those two years and then you have to do a final like test or whatever with other university students um, before you can actually get into the actual program while Queens is the direct entry, so I'm right in. Uh, Queens also generally has a lower acceptance rate every year, around 6%, although I don't know how accurate that is, but it does. it is generally more competitive and I think a lot of people can agree on that. Um, but I think another factor that's kind of insignificant that led me to cho choose Ivy is because they gave me my offer pretty early in February. March. February was the VMOS offer. March was the Ivy one. It's because at that time, um, that's when they were giving out international offers and they usually give out the international offers before the Canadian ones. So because they gave it to me at that time, I didn't have my prerequisites of like grade 12 math or grade 12 English yet because I was doing them. So that means they based it off my grade 11 marks and my essays. And my grade 11 marks weren't too stellar. So the fact that they gave it to me that early without getting my prerequisites that they wanted, um, I guess put them in a nice spot in my heart. Um, but Queens did give me a pretty big scholarship, so that definitely was very convincing. Uh, yeah, so, nope. Yeah, so I'm going to Western next year. Although, um, like I did learn about Queens only really a year and a half ago, so it was relatively new. Um, and I did research on both of the programs and again, weighed the pros and cons. I ultimately always imagined myself at Western, so, yeah, this is the reason why I chose it. I also want to pursue a career in consulting and I heard Ivy has a pretty good reputation for producing students who go to consulting. So yeah, this is why I chose Western. Thanks for listening and we hope this video was able to help and give you insight as to why we chose the universities that we did. And on that note, the Gore Twins out.